All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Kodash. And to Wada Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days which the world cannot receive. Double honors to our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. They taught us 100% truth according to the Bible, Brach Adam. Peace, love, and salutations to the Zakonian Wa'achim, and Shalom to the predestined elect. All right, we the brothers uh, from Jim S. 10 Bay 12 coming back at you again with another lesson. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and comforting, all right, and uplifting, okay, to you sincere Achim Wak Wak that wholeheartedly believe, all right, in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua and truth, and in sincerity, man, fighting the good fight of faith, all right, uh, applying the scriptures to the best of your ability, walking that straight gate, man, all right, that straight path towards uh, uh, salvation, enduring um, all things, man, for the elect's sake, okay, because that's what this thing is about, endurance, okay, this is a, a race of endurance, man. And the scriptures say, one that strive for the mastery must be tempered in all things. All right? And these are godly attributes that the elect possess, man. Tempered, temp, uh, temp, temperance. temperance. All right? The scriptures say, unto knowledge, temperance, temperance, patience, to patience, godliness, to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, uh, charity, man. If you have these things, you shall never fail, man. Okay? So we're not, we're not failing because we have these godly attributes. As the scriptures say, put on the elect, and we understand judgment. And that's what we're getting into, man. The judgment of the Heavenly Father, okay, is running rapid in these last days, man. The prophecies is popping off the page, and you got to be in tune with the Spirit, all right? In tune with the Spirit to see how the Heavenly Father is moving on the planet Earth, man. Okay? So go ahead, up. I got a quick precept. Okay. I'll back up right before the brothers jump in that. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 7. And if a man love righteousness... Her labors are virtues, for she teaches temperance and prudence, justice and fortitude, which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. Mm. Hey, and all that comes with, you know, coming to this word, gaining that wisdom, and that, that wisdom will lead you to, you know, what, what is profitable. And ultimately, is doing the will of the Lord, you know, because the whole duty of men is to fear the Lord and keep his commandments. Hey, and ultimately, Lord willing, that they get us delivered. That's right. All right, go ahead. All right, it's the book of Psalms, chapter 9, verse 16. It reads, The Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is known by the judgment, judgment which he executed. Yeah, the wit can, can, uh, matter of fact, I'm right here. Let me get, let me get the word uh, known real quick. Because, okay. you know, you, hey, that's heavy. You know, you know somebody. You, you, you know, you're familiar. So we we familiar with how Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, get down. All right? So we, which by default, what we know how to walk, all right. And how do we walk? We walk in fear because we know how the heavenly Father executed, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me get this word here known because that's that's heavy, man. Just like a, when you have a woman, you want you don't just get with anybody just you know that you don't know. You want to know her, man. All right. So we know how the heavenly Father judge, man. All right. Get this real quick. It says to know, and it's a noun. It says inside information. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have inside information. What's that in Matthew, the 13th chapter? All right, around the ninth verse. Yahweh Shah was giving the disciples inside information. We're the insiders, man. Mm -hmm. You see, we are the ones that are, we are the initiated ones, man. We've been initiated into what? This, what, in other words, says knowledge, fact of knowing. We're been, we've been initiated into the familiarity of the powers of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. The truth, uh, 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 hey, man, the true knowledge. Inside information on how the Lord judge, man. And how he's judging on the planet Earth right now, you should be walking in great fear, man. Because hey, we, hey, we ain't, I remember the elders used to say this too, man. We ain't invincible, man. All right? Yet, okay, you still can get touched. Mm -hmm. All right? Go ahead, up. Mm -hmm. Read that again, and then the brothers got it. Come on, just the book of uh, Psalms 9, verse 16. It says, The Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is known by the judgment, judgment which he executed, the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Hegeon said, law. All right, hey, the Lord, like the brother was going into, hey, the Lord is known. All right, when you, like he, he mentioned going into knowing, knowing your, your woman, you, you know, you're knowing, but when you go into known, you're looking at, uh, uh, what, how can I say it? Like, resume speaks for itself. Basically, yeah, yeah, that's it. Because when the Lord, Shows these judgments, all right, that he's going to execute, all right. It ain't going to no more, it's not going to be any more questioning. It ain't going to be no more uh, seeing, uh, 
what the Lord is about. You're gonna no know that, that you're gonna hey, no doubt. You're not gonna doubt at all. Okay. You're gonna know it's gonna be for a fact, mm -hmm. okay, that the Lord is casting these judgments. Right. This is why the scripture goes into it and it says, uh, then shall they know that I am Yahweh Bashem Yahweh right. Shah. Right. So the Lord's gonna hey, the Lord's gonna start casting these judgments, and you're gonna know who he is in that time of the judgments when he starts to execute them. Right. Hey, the scripture says the same must know it. After death by pain. So you're going to know the Lord a, by a grievous death, man. Mm -hmm. And he got four sore plagues. How the Lord, get, how you can get to know him. All right. By way of famine, pestilence, the sword, or noisome beast, wild beast. You got it. Hey, because, hey, you got like when, uh, I think like a uh, category five hurricane come through. And when it when it destroys some shit, what they say, that was the hand of God. Yeah. You know, uh, that was God. Certain things that just happened, the way somebody, you know, died. Uh, a certain thing that just happens, to, you know, certain judgments. You're like, man, that, that was that, that that was God sent. Mm -hmm. uh, like, how the hell, you know, what this world would say that was the devil. Hey, but who can, who controls Satan? Okay, mm -hmm. the, the, the Most High controls that. You know, the scriptures say there be spirits created for vengeance. Mm -hmm. So when you when you truly know the Lord and hey, you understand, hey, the Most High cast that judgment. But you know, according to uh, this Roman Catholic, how you say Catholicism, you know, they they have you thinking that that Satan and the Most High is battling. Okay, and and, and that, that the the devil took this person out. No, but if you truly know the Lord, you you know that the Lord he sends forth these judgments. Mm -hmm. All right, but real quick, when to get into this article, it's from uh, the U.S. Sun, and it says weekend horror, Independence Day violence sees thirteen shot dead, including two teens at a two at a pool party, and at least twenty nine injured in July Fourth massacre. And mind you, down here in Tampa. It's only uh 2:53, 2:53 p.m. You know, so so the day just you know the day is young, so to say. Okay, hey, so we we expect plenty more judgments, if not today, tomorrow, and so on and so forth. Because these judgments are only going to increase. Hey, why? Because we're in the time of Jacob's trouble. We're entering into the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, so you think it's bad now? It's only going to get worse and worse for you people out here. Can I give a quick precept, real quick? You going with that? Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go into the house of mourning. Then to go into the house of feasting. Now the niggas in the time of feasting, man. Mm -hmm. That's not the time. Right. All right. That's it's not it's not wise to be in the house of feasting. You see what happened when you at the, at the party. Yeah. All right. You gathered around your, your people with the curses on them, man. Jake don't know how to act when he on them drugs, man. Mm -hmm. And what he go to blasting away, uh, uh, blasting his family away, man. But I, hey, and, even, and even if they sober, it don't, it don't matter if they on drugs or not. Why? Because the scriptures say the the, uh, the Most High is not at all in their thoughts. You see, because the scriptures also say on the other, on the right hand side, where two or more are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. You see, so they have no protection. They have no cloak, no defense. Why? Because the, the Lord is not in their thoughts. They don't know the name of the Lord. They're not out there doing the work of the Lord. They got there in, in the house of feasting and, 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 and worshiping to Baal, man. You know, li living in reverence, man. Okay. You got some more now? Uh, a little bit more. All right, That's Come. For that is the, for that is the end of all Ooh. men, yeah. And the living will lay it to his heart. So, like you said, the Most High is not in all his thoughts. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, the scriptures say, yeah, the scriptures say, a wise man, uh, 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 the beginning of knowledge is to fear the Lord, mm -hmm. man. You know, roughly paraphrasing. So, if you wise, you would know, like, nah, let me let me not do that because the scriptures say it's better to be in a house of mourning. Let me be around the Achim rather than going out and going up over there to the west. Right. All right, <laughs> you know, let me chill my ass out, man. Call a brother up, man. You know, because better it is to be in that house than to be out there feasting, because that could be your last day, because that's yeah. the end of all men. The end of all men. You know? you, your, your candle will get put out, yeah. and they said the living will lay it to heart. Yeah. And so technically, everybody's alive. You're breathing, right? But the scripture, yeah, what? How should I say? It's the spirit that quickens us. Right. And you go into that word quicken it means to make alive. Right. So the living will lay it to heart. To heart, heart meaning the off your, your mind. So, hey, those who the spirit reside in, the prudent man will see that he will hide himself. <laughs> you know, we, we hide ourselves in, in the secret places of the Most High. Hey, if, if you look at it in the, in the physical aspect, in that, Jake, what the apostles teach us, man, keep it simple. Apostle Ramana always say, you get in the matrix and you get out. Right. You know, you, you go to work, you do your thing, and you need to go, you need to go home, man. Mm -hmm. Be a monster brother. You don't just be out there in that world, man. You, you go, man, a lot of people are going to get exposed in these last days, man. A lot of people that so-called in the truth, man, mm -hmm. because you're going to see that they playing, they playing both sides. You're going to see, like, some shit going to happen. You're like, how in the yeah. fuck he, what, yeah. is, what the fuck was he doing over there anyway? Uh, you know? And, and that's the type of judgment you're going to see. Or the Lord give you over to your own, your, your, your own, uh, your own mind, yeah. you know? Right. That's, a, that's the thing, man. The, the scriptures say, out of the heart, 
it's the issues of life, right? Well, yeah. Jake be out here doing doing wickedness, and the Lord will give you over to that. If you tend too much to the world, you doing too much worldly things. Well, guess what? You ain't occupied in the prophecies. The Lord is going to give you over to that worldly lust, and you ain't going to even know until you get judged. You know. All right. Back in this article, at least thirteen people have been shot dead, and twenty nine are injured after a wave of gun violence rocked the U.S. over the July Fourth weekend. <laughs> you would think that this. You would think that today was the fifth or some shit. Mm -hmm. Today is the fourth, you know? Yeah. And they already they already got these articles out. So how much more tomorrow? What the article article's gonna read then? Right. right. And how much more the next holiday? Cause this shit don't stop with right. Jake, dog. Right. Jake don't get Jake don't get it. Alright? Jake gonna be out on, on on Christmas. Okay, what what we got coming up next? Ain't it something some holiday coming up next, man? Right. You gonna see Jake gather together out there on the West. Labor Day. Yep. Oh, Labor Day. Yep, Jake gonna be out there on the West. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> get, get exposed, man. Right. And you're gonna see more articles. God. Okay, is this, that's just how this shit gonna go until the Lord cut that shit off and start independ uh, 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 individually mm -hmm. lining you niggas up and putting Jake down, man. God. Individually, man. Okay? It says two men, 17 and 18, were gunned down while another was wounded after a shooting erupted at a pool party in Texas on July the 1st. And you can bet, bet you your, 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 your bottom dollar, top dollar, however you want to say it, that most of these people dying is Jake. Because <laughs> Jake just love to fucking party, no matter what, they, what Biggie say, uh, party and bullshit, you know? No matter what's going on, how serious the times is, famine, <laughs> you know, hyperinflation, you know, war, Jake just don't get it. They showed you that in the movie uh, Purge uh, with, uh, with, with Skeletor, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. Go out of the Purge, where Jake at? At the fucking block party to Skeletor come through and start and start shanking niggas. Right. Until that spirit of vengeance come through, now Jake want to run. Mm -hmm. But it's too late because you just want to fucking party, man. Yeah, okay? Mm -hmm. A series of shootings were reported in Chicago over the Independence Day weekend, mm -hmm. leaving at least eight people dead. Mm -hmm. Medics pronounced a man 26 dead after he was shot in the arm in head just after 5 p.m. on Friday, you know. So these niggas start early, man, you know. And there's just another reason, another way, you know. We all knew this shit was coming, you know, anyway, because these every all these niggas out here talking their guns and shit, and then now you got firecrackers going on. So, hey, man, those spirits and apparitions gonna be playing on these people's minds. Heavy. Hours later, cops found a woman, <laughs> 24, with gunshot wounds in her torso. And she, and she was taken to the hospital mm. where she was pronounced dead. Mm. NBS Chicago reports police reve revealed that a 38 year old man was admitted to the hospital in a critical condition while a 42 year old woman was also checked over by medics. Mm. Hey, so it's just just great judgment, you know? Yeah. Hey, you ain't got to worry about the change. You can get whatever right, uh, you had. Right, kind of a quick pre real quick. All right, it's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse. Um, 16 It says and moreover I saw under the sun The place of judgment mm. That wickedness was there And the place of righteousness That iniquity was there So hey Underneath the sun alright where is that That's here you see Babylon the great You see other different parts of the world Alright Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Says that when he sees this place He's getting ready to start casting judgment upon Upon this place Yeah and it said the place under the sun Hey that, that's earth so this yeah. is what This is where your judgment is going to be played out at uh, uh, con uh, Contrary to uh, Roman Catholicism You know uh, the, the, These oh, yeah. vain the, These vain uh, philosophies. philosophies Yeah where you go go to hell And, and meet Satan with, with his pitchfork And his big red you know what I'm saying? No, your judgment gonna take place here. The same must know it at the death by pain. Mm -hmm. The the issues of death come from the most high, man. Right. This way he do. Mm -hmm. Alright, you can hold that uh, Deuteronomy uh, 32. Oh, you got something on the next one. So one more. I do got something after next one. Alright, come on, one more. Verse 17, it says, And I said in my heart, the most high shall judge the righteous and the wicked. Right. Mm -hmm. So that like, the brother was going into, all right, uh, you Jakes, all right, that's so, so called in this, uh, you in this truth, all right. You think that you're serving your house, Bashim Yahushua? Then not the scripture says in what First Peter four and seventeen that the Lord is going to cast judgment mm -hmm. at the house of Israel first. Mm -hmm. So the Lord going to aid. The Lord is going to start casting judgment on the house of Israel first, and what to the rest of the nation of Israel and the rest of this world, yeah. all right. The judgment getting ready to be placed what on this earth, yeah. okay? It says um. For there is a time there 
for every purpose and for every work. Mm, for right, every man. purpose. So right. I just want to say for every purpose, man, and that's why we have these articles. That's, right. that's why we have these, you know, news break, breaking news mm -hmm. because it's a it's a it's it's a set time for the for the Lord to judge you, man. Okay, <laughs> and then we read about it in the scripture. The brothers just read it. It, under under uh, uh, under mm -hmm. heaven, all right, right here on earth is where the Lord is is, is judging the people. The sun, under, the sun. Set, uh, slot here, slot here. under the sun, which is on earth, mm -hmm. okay, is where you you Jakes is getting judged, man, at a rapid pace in these last days. Oh, all right, oh, yeah. I got something real quick. This is Isaiah forty-five <laughs> in verse seven. All right, Isaiah forty-five in verse seven. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace. And create evil, and that's the point. The Lord Yahweh Shmuel Shai is the one that is uh, that, that, that is creating the evil. It says, "I, the Lord Yahweh, do all these things." So once again, if somebody if somebody dropped dead, okay, uh, delivering your mail, all right, he wouldn't even get it there, okay, because he had a heart attack in the, in the delivery truck. Well, guess what, man? Yahweh Shmuel Shai purposed that under under the sun for him to be uh, uh, judged because the Lord the one that what to say I the Lord do all these things mm -hmm. so when you're seeing these mass shootings you're seeing Jake uh, bucking up against his own his own hey, hey his articles out there Jake putting his mom Jake put his mom down man hey Jake had a shootout with his dad yeah. just not too long ago man you know what I mean Jake killing his children and then he trying to get away the cops find him he 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 done committed suicide man you know like, bro, Jake, hey, man, but who's doing it? Let me read this again. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. So I, the Lord, Yahweh, should try to do all these things. So wherever evil is presented, guess who's right there in the midst? If there's evil in the city, right. the Lord have, have not the Lord done it. Okay, so the Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. And we're reading about articles of where that evil was taking place. And we know who, who was doing it, man. So we walk in on the other side. Why? Because the scriptures say a prudent man foresee the evil down the street and we're going to hide ourselves in the secret place of the Most High where we can abide under the shadow of the Almighty, man. Okay? And that's who the eye of the Lord, Yahweh Shem El is upon, those that fear him, and he's going to deliver them in a time of Jacob's trouble because they taking heed. All right? They ain't, you ain't finding me electing these news breaks, man. Okay? On these smart news, man. On these articles. Why? Because they in the, they in the bosom of the Lord. That's right. They doing the will. They know the judgment, how he executed. You got it. Right. Most a lot, they got the inside information. All right, they the insiders. You got it. Come, it's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter thirty-two, verse thirty-nine. It says, "See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand." And so I show that the, the just Lord is in the mess, man. That the Most High is controlling all this, man. If you can't nobody deliver you, you can't deliver yourself. Okay, only the elect will be delivered by Yahweh Shalomashiach, man. Okay, so are all this death, this plague, this pestilence, because the, the Lord say uh, He wound and He heals. You know, He kill and He make alive. Hey, so so your life is not in your power. Okay, so so we know that the just Lord is in the mess. You got something? Uh, Matthew's yeah. Yeah, this grab it real quick. And I got you. Okay, come. This is uh, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12. And it reads, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Yep. And, and that iniquity going into that, that great sin. You know, a hey, people have no love for, for one another, you know. And thanks to Esau, Edom, but guess who controls him? That's what we keep going into. The just Lord is in the midst. He, he's putting these thoughts in Esau, Edom's head, you know, way, way since uh, he came into this power, you know, to... Uh, the, the, the slow drip effect on, on men, you know, uh, feminizing them, mm -hmm. you know, uh, liberate, liberating women, you know, putting all this crazy shit into cartoons, putting these, these GMO fools out, uh, promoting violence, you know, so on and so forth. So now, hey, these people are pretty bugged out. That's why iniquity is, is such at, a, at a, uh, a great height right now, you know, and it's only going to increase. Wait till these niggas can't eat, man. Okay? Real. Yeah, so this is just a prelude. Hey, so man, this this is really the Lord fishing in the elect right now. Okay, so out there to the elect, the elect go realize those men who the Lord had the spirit on, they go realize, hey man, something wrong. Like is this, I don't see this getting better. I need to do something. How can I escape? Yeah, you know. Yeah, because like he, you know, that's a heavy point, man. That's why feminine is is, is very it's a it's a bad way to go out. All right, um, pining away. Okay, because you know you you the flesh start to eat itself, and you carnal, man. Like you just completely carnal. And you gotta 
stay alive, and because you don't have the bread of life and the, and the water, all right, the, the waters of, of, of this truth, you're not you 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 not, you're gonna be thirsty and you're gonna be hungry in that in that day, man. Physically, carnally. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna try to keep your body alive, and you're gonna go on that cannibalism uh, state of mind, man. And that's a horrible thing, and, and that's why we watch these movies. But you know that time is coming, man. That Black Summer trailer, I, I, you know, I seen, 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 you say you seen it? No. Hey, it's a movie 28 days later, man. You know, these movies where people are, they got that look in their eyes, man. And it's like, you can tell there's something wrong with them. Like in the book of Eli, when they was when they came to that old house, that, that house yeah. of the old people, you know, what they had. You could tell it was like, yo, where they getting the food from? They were eating people, man. Right. See what I'm saying? Okay, so that, that time is coming, bro. You jakes is going to bug out because you ain't got no food. And we gonna see Jake out here, out there on the corner, tearing the baby up, man, or eating a damn cat. Yep. All right. And real quick to add on, it's gonna happen quick too, because I was reading this article the other day going into uh, fasting about like the, the different stages of fasting, and it said like between 24 and 48 hours is basically when your mind starts to reset. All right. So after a day or two, after these people didn't eat, hey, they just gonna start bugging out. You know, their they mind is gonna go other places. Them demons. Oh my goodness, man. Your your comfort. You gonna realize quickly. That your comfort has been taken away from you. After a day or two of not eating, you people go go lose it, man. You people go lose it. That's why you, that's why the apostles and elders always say that that, that first wave, that first wave, that first wave gonna be bad, man. They gonna go out quick too, man. They, Cause they go go out there rioting and looting. And they they just go lose it, man. You know, uh, uh, strictly relying on the flesh, they gonna go back to to that to that yeah to to a uh, beast like state, you know. Brother, that's something else. Nah, that's it. We get close the precept. Uh -huh. I got one real quick. Second uh, Ezra chapter nine verse one. He answered. Matter of fact, let me start up in Second Ezra chapter eight verse sixty-two. Uh, so like in verse sixty-three. Second Ezra chapter eight verse sixty-three. Then we we'll bring it into chapter nine. Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou will begin to do in the last times. But at what time thou hast not showed me? All right, so we, we receive these prophecies. So, you know, Ezra asked, that was a, a well-asked question. Like, well, where should these things begin to take place? All right, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the science past, which I have told thee before, which we see, you know, wars, rumors of wars, plagues, pestilence, all right, sedition, then should thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right, so we that's why you see this judgment on a whole nother level. It, it's ramping up, and it, this is only the, the beginning. And that's, all right, that's inside information. Exactly. Right then shall you well understand. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is giving you the download on how on when you know He's on the scene. Yep. All right. When the, all right, let me get right because yep. this is that time, bro. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say the vision is set for an appointed at the end it shall speak. All right. All right. So the Lord is speaking to you, man. He's speaking to you by the way of the prophet, the, the elders and apostles, great millstone. He's speaking to you by the plagues. He's speaking to you by the, uh, the weather. Okay. <laughs> the animals. The scriptures say, go to the animals. They shall teach thee. Mm -hmm. So you can tell the vibration of this place. All right. Is off. And that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is getting ready to turn, uh, bring the correction, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Because everything is off, bro. Shit need to be corrected, bro. Okay. The, the leadership, the, uh, the people that's in power. Okay. You people's minds, man. Mm -hmm. All right. The earth itself is out of, uh, out of course. The scriptures say that surely the things are turning upside down. You got it. Yeah, that's beautiful because you said these things need to be corrected. Hey, the Most High is very, very heavy-handed too. So now that the Most High is involved, hey, all bets are off, man. Hey, if you if you ain't on that right hand side to be delivered, it's bad out here, man. Because the Lord is very, very heavy-handed, and the brother opened up with that precept. The Lord is known by the judgments in, in which he uh in the way the judgment in which he executed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Hey, your daddy, he'll whoop your ass, man, with a belt. Well, mm -hmm. the Lord, his belt is, is Esau, Edom, the sword. Mm -hmm. He's going to kill your ass, man. Right. The Lord is, hey, bro, the Lord, the scriptures say he killeth and maketh alive. First, first Samuel 2 and 6, man. Most high don't play in the book of, uh, in, uh, in the scriptures that say what? Uh, every every woman or man that do not serve the Al-Bashimish must be put to death. Mm -hmm. Whether woman or man, small or great, man. That's right. All right? The Lord don't play, man. So that heavy hand is getting ready to show whether you're young or poor, I mean, oh, you're young or poor. <laughs> Whether you're young or old, rich or poor is what I meant to say. All right? Because, hey, from children to grandma, right. all right, getting ready to get slaughtered in these last days, man. You brought some, you got it? All right. So that's all we had, man, you know. Hey, re repent or die, you know. 
it, it's simple, man. You know, the Lord made this very, very simple. He set forth man, starting with our apostles and elders on down, hey, to, to lead the way, man. That the Spirit is truly working through our apostles and elders all the way down, you know. Hey, so with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakat Wadash. No bonus to our apostles and elders, that great millstone who rule well, who feed the sheep. Peace, salutations, and honor to you, brothers out on the highways and byways, pushing the word in truth and sincerity. All right, with that, shalom. 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 Yes, sir.